Guys, welcome back. It is question and answer number seven with Tim and Jacko. We also had to admit we've been out in the sun a lot today. So if we're looking slightly sun-kissed, we've been and filming sunny, for... Yeah. I think we've shot something like 50-something videos for our muscle up ebook, which is coming out soon. Coaching so. tutorials. Co yeah, exactly. Yeah, we're actually showing off. Yeah, we're Although pretty you tired. <laughs> and we've been out in the sun a lot. But we thought we would just come back and, and relax and chew the fat a little bit of the Q&A before we, we close out today. Yeah, and it is time for another Q&A. And the, as we said before, the questions are flooding in, literally <laughs> flooding in. Um, so... We try our best to answer everybody's. Um, some of them we just will answer via text if you comment below if that's what needs. But if it needs to go into a bit more detail, we pick out some of those best ones. And some of you have been quite cheeky this week. Yeah, there's a tactic. And going, isn't yeah, there? I've been. Well, I guess it's our own fault. We said how it is easiest to get your question uh, answered. Dave and can't resist features. a compliment. Uh, and neither can you. But anyway, yes. <laughs> anyway, and it's a really special day today. Q and A seven. We thought it was finally time to allow Tim. To be question master. Apparently, I've but he's just going to the first one. Yeah, and if I mess we'll up, never, then, never yeah, again. We'll see. So, am I going first? Yeah, it's your time. Yeah, it's your right. first question. one. Go on. Let me practice his name. Yeah. Uh, sorry, question master. Yes, there is. the first question? This actually came in. Literally, we've been out filming today. I came around just my emails are coming through. So this is two hours old. This question. So we're, we're given a little bit of that, but it's relevant yeah. to what we've just been training. And it's a bit like Tim is devoted. I don't know how long. Yeah. To. Uh, Understanding all things muscle yeah, up and every setting no stone unturned in terms of muscle up and this comes in so it is right I feel that we should answer this one first. So Gabriel Martins, easy one, wasn't it? I didn't even have to like easy name, easy name to go with. Oh. He says uh, he's been training calisthenics. He used to train with weight. Today he can do at least seven repetitions carrying forty kilos, um, as well as seventeen dips. But we still can't perform muscle up. Could you guys tell me if I need to gain strength, or will I be able to you or to be able to do the muscle up, or is it time to use speed? And I think he's asking that question right. Is it time to use speed? Because the the um, the oh yes, yeah, off the, the bottom of the, um, the muscle why up can't one. Why you can't muscle up? up? And yeah. we were talking yeah. about the need for speed in that. And um, I think it's fair to say. One question we'll have is: uh, Are you doing your pull ups overhand, sort of in the same grip yeah. position that you'd be doing your um, muscle up in? So just outside shoulder width. Um, or are you in neutral here the safer position for the shoulder you'll be able to produce more force there yeah. um, so that's just one question I'm going to assume you're talking about overhand pull ups because uh, you're building up for that muscle up and I can't do 7 reps at 40 kilos anywhere near that mm. and I'm sure I no. don't know where you're at like, I think at last sort of test I think I've done about 30 Not for 3 yeah. reps um, the, the big thing for us with the muscle up is, is if it's going to transfer over it's got to be quality so yeah. I've seen people in the gym doing 40 kilo pull-ups and the, the spine position is all over the place, the shoulders are all over the place. Yeah, you've got a lot of weight on, but you're not moving it effectively. Yeah. And that doesn't transfer well into the muscle. Yeah. So some some key things um, from us all. The first take away is yes, uh, you, if power is strength and speed or force and velocity, the fact that you can do those 40 kilo for seven reps is you've got the strength clearly mm. and it's it's going to be the speed is going to be one thing but then there's also going to be like the technical aspects of um of the of the muscle up and i think there's a couple of things one thing that's i always find interesting that if all you ever do is pull-ups and you've trained pull-ups for ages you get great at pull-ups one thing you're doing is getting good at pull-ups which is great for that first part of your muscle up but you're also teaching your brain that the movement stops here and it doesn't like yeah. and doesn't understand that actually you're going to go to here and then want to go further um, so how high are you able to get on that if you can do pull ups and only get your chin to the bar even with that 40 kilo how, how effective are you at getting the bar to the top of your ribcage because that's where you need to get to to get your chest over I think it. it's the biggest misconception around muscle ups that people just think oh I can do pull ups and I can do dips well, I can, yeah. we actually talked about this today we've been, I said we've been um, deep into filming today and it's it's not just a case of oh, I can do a number of pull ups there's, there's, there's quite a lot of technical things about how you go about applying that force Yeah. and the short answer of this is yeah you need to get faster you're probably strong enough providing you can put that force down with good speed uh, with, yeah. good, with good technique sorry but the technicalities like Dave says of, of how you're going about producing that force and that's all going to be covered. It's actually in that video that you've commented on. There's quite a lot of stuff in there to yeah. take away. Yeah. The um, other thing I'd say to him is to to learn a bit of that technique of actually getting around the bar, of getting a decent strong band on, and not only work some nice real high pulls. But I bet with it, if you can do 40 kilo pull ups with a decent band mm. around you, you'll get hip, your hips to the bar no problem and get super high above the bar. So practicing that is going to help you with that yeah. speed. But also it's going to allow you to actually get a real comfortable dead eat. don't worry about how if oh, I'm using a really strong band in it 
it feels dead easy well yeah. give your brain the chance to learn and just rep out some nice pull snap over the bar and just get used to the the pull up not being the end point transitioning over mm. and start to just build that technique i think for you you if you if you start putting some of that into your program, you might not even need to get the ebook and follow flipping fifty yeah, yeah. tutorials because you flip it. It sounds like you're halfway or more than halfway there already. But everything from the technique of the line of pull, how we come up and back, how we snap out of there, some work on how to work through your transition. It's all going to be covered in that. But I think for you, working on getting some speed, mm. use a band. Um, there could be some mobility issues. It might be that the transition is difficult because your shoulders are tight and you can't get that ex- yeah, shoulder yeah. extension and that internal rotation. Until we've seen you actually move, it's hard to hard to uh, distinguish that. But starting point, I would don't worry about the strength now. Start to work on the speed. Use how some you're it. and how you're planning it. Use some bands to help you get through that transition. Just feel what it's like to get above the bar. First roller screen on it. Question oh, master. Yeah. I feel that went very well. Got the name right. Good question. It was, well an easy, it was an easy name. It was on your favourite subject. Clarity, yes. Let's see how you let's see how you uh, well, do with this one. Pretty curveball. <laughs> um, right. So uh, uh, I'm just scrolling for you to find <laughs> Ah Bjorn Wagey. Yes. He says, "Hey pirates." Yes. Which uh, we, we, we yeah we did a couple of pirates. Yeah, but I didn't know we'd done it on camera. That, I thought that was behind the scenes. Yeah. Um, anyway so thanks for the super informative videos you can see why this is getting read out um, when you do the muscle up when will the muscle up ebook be out next well today is the 19th of June yeah within th- four weeks yeah it's gonna we, 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 early, early we tried to do the end of June but realistically that's not gonna happen we want it to be perfect yeah, it needs to be right so yeah. we just have to take but certainly we're in production stages we've got content and the final mid June mid June ish yeah. but we will mid-July. give you a so July it's what I mean um, we'll give you a date yeah. soon we'll be able to confirm that up um, like I said we've been, vid- we've been videoing a lot of the tutorials today um, and the first draft is done so he, he says he'd love to buy it which is great uh, I'd also <laughs> like to ask what style of core training would you suggest that I utilize when the majority of his goals are static holes like front lever back lever um, handstands um, so would we suggest dynamic movements uh, so also for dynamic movements like the muscle up um, what would you what would we suggest static work such as weighted planks or more dynamic things like leg raises and toes to bar yeah, interesting one actually. Um, there's quite a lot in there. We, core is such a hot. Well, it's kind of like found its place, I think. Now, mm. but core stability and core training came into to sort of the health and fitness and S and C kind of realm. I don't know, five, six years ago, and everyone was on about core stability, and we got special devices and lots of different stuff which we could use to train core ab rollers. Uh, yeah, ab roll machine, crunch machines, and that sort of stuff. Ultimately, let's break it down. I'm going to talk about a couple of different things. The, 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 the core is actually everything from elbows to knees. So if you chopped off below the knee or below the elbow, any muscle which what attaches... What classification would you be? I'm not in Paralympic sport. I'm not quite sure. Um, if you, uh, if you, what you've got, any, any musculature which attaches into the spinal special, pelvis... Try to answer. Sorry, I'm just putting them off. Sorry. Any muscle which attaches into the spinal pelvis, that's determined as core. So whether we're training shoulder stability and some scaptions kind of like working posterior shoulder, that still could be determined as a core exercise because it's rather than thinking about abs, you're thinking about pillar yeah. strength. And yeah. can we start to connect this whole trunk and this whole kind of like big bulk part of portion of the body together? So a lot of people go, I'm going to do abs, and that involves in crunches. Yeah. Well, crunches are great for rectus abdominis. This guy on the front, which is actually just wants to flex the spine. So when you get out of bed in the morning, you do a crunch. How many crunches do you do for the rest of the day? Not so many. So my focus is going to become more on can I hold position and postural control in more kind of that you you've sort of like isometric or dynamic yeah. movements. Even if I'm training sprinters, I'm more interested in them to be, their ability to be able to hold static positions yeah. because they have to be able to, to to transfer force effectively throughout the system requires control and stiffness yeah, and postural that, control. That, yeah, that trunk control, the spinal control, and and hip control. Really, yeah. I think. Me being uh, I mean, insight to my early, uh, early to mid and slash late teens, um, wanted to do, uh, wanted to be able to have a six pack. Did a ridiculous number of did you get one? crunches and bicycle? <laughs> Look, I didn't I get a six pack. I got a turtle shell. You ate a turtle. <laughs> Right, in order to you stuck there for ten years. Did, can't break. Can't I used tortoise to literally shell, religiously do a minimum of a of, uh, hundred before bed. <laughs> And in the morning, 
um, and would how worry long, how many that, years did you do that for uh, I'd hate to think years like when people say how to get a six there'd be videos on YouTube I bet like, how to get a six pack well you've just told him 100 sit it was morning and night yeah. for about how, what, but eight they're, years they're interesting th- probably from like 13 to <laughs> 25 I don't know wasn't it 13 to 20 to 80 I don't know when I stopped realising that it was counterproductive <laughs> that just built up like those recaps that Tim was talking about but actually when you come to then want to hold some positions like those static holds talking about like back levers front levers and planches and things you realise that it's they're only the one tiny piece of the puzzle and you actually have no control of your trunk and your hips so um, remember when we first started doing calisthenics and oh. Dave came in and I was like let's do some core let's do some hollow rocks and here's a guy who walks in with the biggest six pack you've ever seen and like absolute and I've, I've like but it wasn't you it wasn't usable it was garbage you couldn't do it yeah literally <laughs> so you've had to go right back and yeah, actually yeah. train core completely differently yeah, yeah. to what you thought yeah. was going to be effective and it's more about like internal external obliques and transverse yeah. abdominus and and actually working them to maintain alignments is so much more useful for lots of other things you're going to then go and do yeah. rather than just have a six pack and build up some musculature that actually sometimes gets in the way when I'm trying to do yeah. <laughs> things. Well, hang on things. a minute, I can't do that because my core, my abs are so big. So that's the education around why we need to be thinking about maybe more Ooh. static yeah. holes. But you do make a really good point in that, yes, plank progression, so whether it's a plank, David has talked about this before, yeah. and that we're not interested in people who can plank for five minutes. Show me a plank progression, which means you can hold it for 30 seconds, because you're in calisthenics not going to hold a flag probably for five minutes. So work, continue to progress the intensity of static holds and progress the difficulty of those exercises, which keep it challenging for less than a minute. So one of the parts of the question that I really like is around, should you use toes to bar? And, and that's a really interesting thing. Couple of reasons, hanging whilst doing core, integrate shoulder stability with core, which is again good for human flags. We're gonna to start to yeah. have to train grip and core at the same yeah, well, time. front lever, you're gonna to have to have that strength for the shoulder and the core. Yeah, and those movements particularly get you the opportunity to do some um, lower ab exercises. So a lot of movements that we do, people are quite good at focusing on upper portions of the, of the, of the core and the pillar, let's call it that, but actually isolating those lower abdominals where you're starting to have to try and pull the pelvis into that tuck position. You're starting to strengthen your hollow body, so hollow, rock, hollow rocks are a great exercise for that actually putting some volume in those reps multiple sets of those because the first one set's easy like yeah, three yeah. or four sets gets pretty hard um, and then toes to bar I like those sorts of things a lot because it really starts to pull you into those positions and if you want to go back lever or oh, sorry front lever plunge any of those sorts of things we need to keep that postural control yeah I think it's the, the the only issue I have with some of them is that people don't do it with control and it ends up just being like a yeah. swinging motion and you're just using momentum. Um, something that I love and I'd definitely recommend you to do is um, a dragon flag or a variation of a dragon flag. And if you really want to work on the static element rather than coming down and repping them, actually coming down to the lowest portion you can hold and just doing a nice isometric yeah, yeah. in there, five, 10 seconds, five, six re- uh, sets of that and build up some static strength of being able to hold and it's really gravity trying to pull your pelvis down or pull your legs down you've really got to hold and fight against gravity and hold that position i think that's a key one whilst it might look nice for the photo that back arch is something in that position we want yeah. to decrease you want to really want to hook it up under so again quality over quantity but again they're great and any other sort of progressions where you're holding isometric shapes they would always be my go-to over anything crunch based i don't do any crunches nothing yeah. these days no i've stopped doing those you think you've probably done enough <laughs> yeah question master yes give us the last question final for question number three from stuart shepherd no other who starts by saying hi and then i don't know how to do how do you how do you talk in capitals i don't think you need to okay. worry too much about he that. says hi guys and then he goes <laughs> in capitals he goes fantastic q a is that like fantastic is that yeah, capitals? Yeah. shouting or aggression okay i think it fantastic <laughs> yeah q a i think it was more like he just wanted to be seen yeah um best i've ever seen from anyone ever follows that up with, with and then in brackets hope that get you hope see, that's enough to get my question answered slightly Lol. Um, but it's one, true but we'll, yeah, it's, it it's was, true it's got you on hasn't it I think the proof is in the pudding <laughs> it says I really want to lose my belly fat um, and get into calisthenics I can do one to two pull ups would you suggest I continue with trying unassisted pull ups of those low numbers or negatives or and or negatives or should I get some bands to help me build up my strength and I'd just like to kick this okay. one off Tim and just go if you want you need, you're almost like wanting two things and you think about what you want if you're if you're wanting to get better at your pull-ups then you might use those uh 
low rep ranges and doing some negatives and you'll be able to build up slowly over time to maybe turn those one or two into two or three or three or four or four or five if you're wanting to if you're wanting to um lose some some belly fat and actually in, you're wanting to lose some might do some actual sort of conditioning work in terms of your pull-ups definitely grabbing a band being able to do uh having the assistance from a band that allows you to do um, 10 12 reps is going to be able to build up a lot more um, volume in your session which is going to be more reps burn more actual calories whilst you're doing it so you're actually doing more stuff it'll feel easier in terms of each individual rep should feel easier so you can actually do 10 or 12 but that is going to help with your pull-ups yeah. and you are going to get some of that sort of fat burning or just burning off more calories because you'll be doing more work in your session yeah yeah i've got a couple of points uh the first one is that if you're training those one to two reps we, like, we put that into kind of like first principles of snc science um that's a max strength exercise for you you'd be working really hard so that becomes like a neural system adaptation for you to want to start to get stronger we could actually do with hitting eight six well six upwards six to twelves where you're going to yeah. start to get more cellular adaptation cell adaptation being things which are probably going to change the size of the muscle going to change some of the contractile properties or you, and bigger muscles ultimately produce more force that is important that you get the neural side as well but from where you're at i would start to think about trying to get those bigger numbers the other thing that i would do for you is, is just focus on if we put that into our framework what you're currently doing i would say is applied strength very specific strength low low or low numbers high intensity your focus needs to really be on the capacity strength side of things where yeah. what you're going to do is just get more volume in the program more reps and sets just get stronger just focus on that basic foundation strength and if i was you i'd do exactly what david said i'll get a band on start to hit t eight, 10 to 12 reps of your pull-ups and i'd be super setting that with a bodyweight row or a push-up and starting to sit like hit these exercises off the bounds real short rest periods less than a minute in between you gonna we would turn that if we were writing a program for an athlete on that or for somebody else we would turn that as a strength endurance yeah. so your capacity to do more but the great thing about that is if you're strict with your rest periods you can actually get a really good yeah. metabolic workout from that so getting strong yeah. increasing calorie burn dropping body fat down a little bit rather than if you just try and focus one to twos no one ever got lean i'm going to put my neck yeah. out and say like no one ever really got lean doing one rm training yeah. like it just doesn't work like yeah. that unless you be diet so like like yeah. yeah and then you're getting it through elsewhere but from where you're at yeah. focus on volume because you can once you've got that decent kind of foundation then you can start to worry about the specifics yeah. of it um and there's no harm once a week of just throwing in some like real body weight training uh, sorry body weight only pull-ups so that you, you're getting yeah. those ones and twos in there on a weekly basis and that'll be enough to keep moving you forward if you're then hitting some other stuff as well yeah and sure if you go back to q and so i just checked on my phone that i did um because it was it was ringing alarm bells in my head that if you go back to that last q and a that q and a six where you asked the question i've already replied with a link to um a uh, like a fat burning sort of calorie burning um, circuit that I did as part of a blog um, a few time. months ago. Was that Christmas time around yeah. a few months ago? Um, so the links on there to that, as well as the link to the bands, if you want to if you want to uh, look at getting any of those. But check out that um, that that circuit. It's a full body one, so yep. some lower body work in there just to help you try and burn off some more calories, as well as that specific sort of pull up work. But that's in the link on that last Q and A Q and A six where you asked that question. Perfect. That's it for today, I think. Yeah. So if you yeah, have right any questions, comment in the box below. If you haven't yet subscribed, click that up there. Um, if you haven't got a free beginner's guide, that is a must. It's going to help you get started. It's free. Quite well, a few of the questions that people are talking about. Yeah, like some it's, lot it's, of it's stuff answered in there. It's all the core, exercise technique. And some really great there. core exercise in there as well. And then if you haven't seen that last week's Q&A, Q&A 6 is over there. So until next week, class dismissed.